Hi guys, Steph here. Now, where we go, we've got the first pen from the recent pen haul. I've, made, I've uh, restored a number of pens already, so this is one of them and I thought it'd be interesting to do a, a review of it. Now, if I show you the, the imprint, first of all, go straight to the imprint and there you can see it says Senator Shorthand. So what we've got here is a Senator Shorthand fountain pen. I believe it's from around about the 1970s. It comes in this black sort of plastic, it's got chrome trim, it's got chrome cap band to the end and it's got this chromed um, clip to the top of the cap there with a black stud to the very top. Um, the Senator is a range that was made by a company called Mertz and Krell from Germany. Um, as I say, the Mertz and Krell were making pens from around about the 1920s. Um, I believe they made pens uh, for Pelican as well. So obviously, <laughs> well, they know they seem to know what they're doing or what they, what they were doing. But this one, as I say, is is one of the Senator range. Now they made lots of different variants of the Senator range. They also brought out, I believe, what they term as a Diplomat range, a Melby range. Um, again, we're dating this from the 1970s. It's a shorthand pen, which means in the 1970s a lot of people would, were writing in shorthand in the Pittman and Greg style. Um, and I've read somewhere that the well, the, the shorthand pens had a sort of flexi flexi nib because of the style of shorthand writing. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, Let's unscrew the cap, show you the pen at different angles. Now, in a moment I'll show you, this one is actually a piston fountain pen and you can see it's got this lovely clear ink, ink view window to the top of the barrel there. So very, well, very sort of similar to sort of some of the Pelican pens. Now, if we show you the section, the section has got a slight taper to it. And then if we show you the nib, and I'm going to try and keep it nice and still for you so you can see it. And you'll see it's a 14 karat gold, 14 karat gold nib with I think it's 585 on it. And you'll see it's got this symbol in this circle to the top there. Now, I believe that symbol is representative of Bock nibs. Now, I believe Bock in Germany means stag or something like that. And you can see it's got like a picture of a stag with a mountain behind it. So this is a, again, what they term as a Bock nib, which are made in Germany. They're very, very well renowned for making nibs. So, it, you know, it's a quality made, made nib. Now let's show you a sideways view like so. And let's turn it around and show you the, the section to the back there. You can see it's got this quite, quite nice and attractive, I think, section. Oh, sorry, should I say feed to the back of the nib there. As we said, this one is a piston filler, which means at the end here it's got a little blind blind cap and if we unscrew it like so, and if you keep your eye there you should be able to see the piston appear, there we go, appears in the ink view window and if we turn it back again you can see it retracts back into the barrel. Um, what I've actually done, I've actually serviced the pen, it was very stiff and it wasn't actually working. Um, we've actually sort of given a little bit of silicone grease and it works, works lovely. So, let's see how it writes. So, what we need to do is screw this cap again till the piston appears to the top there, like so. Pop it in the ink and then just turn it like so. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to turn it all the way home because it's only for an ink sample so just as long as we've got enough, you can see there's a little bit of ink to the bottom of the ink view window there. It's only for, uh, as I say, for a writing sample. As I said, these are designed for shorthand and the style of shorthand writing I believe people had to make sort of certain variation in the lines so let's see how it actually writes. So what we've got is a what they term as a center to short hand fountain pen and again we're dating it from the 1970 again made by Mertz and Krell which is the German manufacturer 
and it's writing nicely. There's just a little bit of scratchiness, nothing to, nothing to be, uh, well, nothing to write home about. So let's see if there's any flexibility in the nib. Now, I would say just a little bit of flexibility to the nib. As you can see, on the downward stroke, we can get a broad line, and on the cross stroke, we can get a fine line. So if you look at the the ink sort of writing sample, there is a little bit of variation. So it's not the most flexi flexiest of nibs I've actually used, but as you can see, there is a little bit of variation in the line. So there we have it. In fact, what I'm going to do, well, I'm showing it to you. Let's screw that back home again. So hopefully we'll empty out any nib, sorry, any ink that's uh, left in there. Let's screw the piston all the way home. And let's pop that to one side and give, give the nib a wipe. So there we have it. Quite an early pen. You can see it's actually got somebody's name engraved onto it so if somebody was a lucky this chap here Mr Kettle Miss Miss Kettle was a lucky owner of this pen but hopefully somebody else now will actually be the lucky owner of this particular pen. So there we have it a Senator Shorthand Fountain pen made in Germany by Mertz and Krell around about the 1970s. A lovely pen um, again the feel to the pen a good quality item it must be a good quality because as I say they did make pens for uh, for Pelican as well so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people out there don't forget leave a comment below but for now I'll just say bye bye now